to. One of our shabunkin is absolute. Some of these were fried. If they're, if they're full of eggs or something. But What's up, Billings fam? Welcome back. Guess what time it is? I don't know if you recognize this bucket, but it is rescue and rehome time. I'm very excited. We haven't got to do one in quite some time, but we got a chance to go and rescue some very, very cool cichlids. I think they're called crib and cyst cichlids. So in one of the Facebook groups that I am a part of, someone reached out and said they needed to rehome them. They just didn't have the space for them anymore. And I jumped all over it. They're the coolest looking things. They're dwarf cichlids, similar to the one that we have down there right now that I've been talking about and wanting to get more. Really cool colors. I'll pop a picture on the screen. So anyways, we gotta go do that. We're gonna go rehome some cichlids right now. I'm excited. Let's go do that. When we get back, we got a new fish that we ordered. You saw briefly in the other video. I'm gonna talk about them today. We got a koi. I'm excited. As always, subscribe down below. Really cool thing about these, so they're called crib and cis cichlids, also sometimes known as rainbow crib, I guess. Um, a dwarf cichlid, like I mentioned. As with most of the cichlids, they're over in the African region. Um, I think Nigeria waters off there. Super easy to care for, but just, I thought this was really cool. Their Latin name, or excuse me, their name in Latin stands for color, colorful belly. And I guess it came about because when the, during mating season, the females get a really red, like cherry red belly. So just kind of cool, uh, but really colorful fish. It will bring some life and some color to this 55. I think it's exactly what we've been looking for. So super excited. I love any chance we get to rehome and rescue. Um, again, not so much a rescue situation here, more of a rehome, uh, but they're gonna get a really cool life. They were in a 20 gallon. They're gonna go to a 55 and you know, if they get, to where they need more space. Now we have a good reason to get something even bigger. So these are the times we're in. Had to use a mask. Uh, really cool though. The guy had it already set in a bag and everything like you would from a store. Well, they're not showing their colors right now, obviously, because they're in transit here, but uh, all different sizes. Some of these were fry. Some of them are the adults. Hey, and it looks like we got some, uh, we got some Sylvania out of it. I can take this off now. I know, Georgie's so upset. We gotta get driving here, but really cool guys. I'm excited. And like I said, we got some free Sylvania. I, love, I always love that. I'll take that. Oh, look at all the ducks. Great, look out your window. So we got them in here. I'm about to drip acclimate them with our homemade acclimator. There it goes. Sweet. So I don't even know how many we have guys. They are all different sizes here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, there's at least 11, maybe even 12 here. Um, I'm gonna let them, I'm gonna do this slowly and really let it fill up because their pH was a little bit higher than what ours is. So I am in the process of raising ours, which if you haven't done that before, the best way to do that is with crushed coral. So we put it directly into the filter over there. So it's gonna take some time, but hopefully that will help. So I really want them to acclimate for quite some time. So without further ado though, main point of this whole video was to show you the really cool koi that we did. What? That they're all grouped together? Yes, I know it is. I came down and they were doing it before. They, they always do it at night for some reason when they're about to go to sleep. The, all the goldfish group together and all the koi group together. Hopefully they'll kind of be active for a minute while we're down here. So let me take you over to that though. We, got, we ordered a koi when we ordered the barracuda the other day. Beautiful, again, just a common koi. Let me take you over to that clip now so you can see them. For any of you who saw our other unboxing video of our really cool aggressive barracudas, this was the other guy that was in there. You guys couldn't see him or her yet, but I, I gotta get him out. So this was just, just a regular koi. We wanted a new koi. Look at the colors, really cool. You'll see obviously more once they get into this. So I'm gonna put them in here temporarily. Just, I know it's not a lot of room, but I just want to get them acclimated because um, this water temperature that he's going into Definitely feels a little colder than that, but really cool. Uh, I just wanted a new koi and the shipping charge was already pretty high. So I figured why not get something else. So Tay picked him out. This is where he will be going. Everybody's doing great. I love it. I love when the goldfish just come right up to the top like that. But things are going great in here. We do still have plans obviously to try and get these guys outside in a much larger pond. But this is honestly to this day, this is one of my favorite setups. And again, this was a super easy DIY with a pool. And it does great, guys. So I am setting up our little homemade DIY drip acclimator that works great. And I'm gonna set this up right here for the koi. 
I included a little step-by-step uh, -step tutorial on how to build this in the last video. Um, if you didn't see that though, I can uh, just reach out and I'll tell you. It's, it's pretty straightforward, but it works great. So he is looking really cool. Um, unfortunately, I need to get back to work. So I gotta get this guy in for right now. We'll have to talk later on, but I gotta get back to work. We're gonna need a name. Yeah, I don't think we've ever even named all these other koi and, and obviously not the goldfish. I would never even tell them apart, but we should eventually get some names for these guys. If you guys have never seen or know the backstory of our koi and goldfish, you gotta check that out because it's pretty crazy. These were rescued from Walmart and we helped get them to shut down the selling of live goldfish and or live fish, excuse me. So these all came from Walmart. We rescued them from there and they've done great ever since. Love it. But without further ado, let's get this new beauty in there. Look at the look at the color. Oh. No no oh, oh. oh my god. That's so when we got the koi originally they were smaller than him. And did you just see the butterfly swim next to her, next to him, and, and how much bigger it is. That's so. Look at it. Look next to the shamunkin. Why does the shamunkin look like a whale? By the way, it looks like it ate three other shamunkin. So fat. So fat. So that was a cool clip of them. So again, just a common koi, but really love him. He's gonna grow huge. But I want you guys to see the shabunkin because one of our shabunkin is absolutely massive, and I don't know if it's a she and maybe she's gravid. Uh, if any of you have ever dealt with them. Tell me why she's so large. Look at the look at the butterfly. Look how big she is. She is so beautiful. Oh, there's the new one right there, guys. I was gonna see if I could at least get him to stay out. Look at him. See, I'm telling you the way the, the orange is identical to our goldfish. Um, one of the goldfish is huge too. I'm wondering if they uh, anyone on here, any of you guys out there breed goldfish at all or koi? Let me know. I need some pointers on that because I would love it if they were... If, so we have two Shabunkin. I don't know if they're both male, both female, or what. It would be really cool if they had babies. But one of them literally looks like a cow. Look at this thing. I think I can catch her. She's not very fast. Look at her. And it's been... How long? I mean, it's been a while, right? That she's been like this, babe? Yeah. I put... Um, some stuff in here that I would thought that if she was pregnant, she would maybe go and lay some eggs, or I guess it's not pregnant, gravid. I guess they're very, but I mean, just really, really large. Uh, trying to flip it. I don't know if you can see and tell if, they, if they're full of eggs or something, but why is she, why is it so massive, guys? Please tell me if there's anything I can do, let me know, because I would love to. I saw there's ways you can make, they're called like mops, I guess. Uh, koi goldfish mops, and you put them in, and they want to gravitate to them, and it's like made out of yarn, I think it is. Um, but let me know why you think that one is so big. I don't think it's bloated or anything. It's still eating. Everything seems to be going fine. Oh, uh, pond. So if you guys have been around, we talked about this pond forever last year. We dug the whole thing out. It took us like a month. Me and Tay were out there almost every single day digging this thing out by hand. Uh, I was really excited and then it just got too late in the season. We just couldn't get it open. I want to get it open this year, guys. We're gonna, I don't care what it takes. We're gonna get it started. I want them out there to grow. I, how much do you think it is? What do you think for gallons wise? Probably like 300 gallons, right? No, more than that. Yeah, it could be like four or 500 gallons. It's, it's pretty big. All right, let's start with the big guy here. He likes to jump a lot. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at him go. Hey, the bamboo shrimp's out. I got two. Oh no, one of them stuck to the side. Wait. On the side of the bucket. Oh, he jumped, he jumped back in. Look at him. Look at them going in. Cichlids are so cool, I love it. Just like the, um, just like the epistogramma, they just kind of like hover. Oh. Got two more. Ready? Ready? See if you can see him go in. <laughs> Come on, guys. They're so little, it's like hard to get with my hands. I might have to use a net. Look at him. Oh my god, he's tiny. Boom, they are all in. Look at him. Look at all the little ones. You can, you can definitely see more color, at least now that they're in here. Oh, look at the epistogramma. He's like, hey, 
we're kind of the same. Oh, this is so cool. I just feel like it instantly has more life. What do you think? <laughs> Look at these ones all down here. I gotta wipe the tank down. Yeah, the epistogram is definitely like, what are you guys? You're kind of similar to me. Really cool. Hey, let me know if any of you guys have had these these crib insists, they are, they are pretty cool. I would love to see if we get a female so I can see a red belly. I want to see a red belly so bad. Oh, he's kind of got some color. Oh, look at the big one. Oh, the big one definitely has color. Yeah. You can see it in his fins. Oh, that's really cool. I love this. This is, this is going to be cool. Females have red bellies? So females get the red bellies. Seems, that one's kind of red. They get red bellies when it's mating season, apparently which I don't know what that is yet. Look at all like the babies over there. They're all together. Okay. All right guys, so that was a lot of fun. Again, I love being able to do these rescues and rehomes. And again, this is one of our favorite featured tanks. There's so many more cool things we're gonna do. We need to get some more plants back in here. And now I need to get my auto cats back, which I'm really excited about. So hopefully you stay tuned, hopefully these fish grow up and get really cool colors. I'm excited. So anyways, we have a winner to get to from our gift card giveaway from our duck video, which was not last video, the video before that. Uh, hopefully you got to check it out. If you didn't, make sure you go check that out. But the winner of that is Paul Bassett. Paul, congratulations. Make sure you reach out either by email or Facebook, Instagram. Reach out to us, we'll get you over that gift card. Congratulations. And guys, make sure you keep watching the videos. We're always doing things like this. We just try and have some fun and involve you guys. So another cool little thing I did was I posted a picture onto our community page and asked everybody to try and figure out what type of plant was growing that's gonna go into our pond. And I said the first person that got it right would get a shout out. So the first person to guess it right was Nick Wellington. It is a cattail. There were some hilarious guesses out there. I saw onions, carrots, uh, some other crazy things. I am going to give an honorable mention to Liza over at Pondering Creations who guessed it because Liza, we bought it from you. So I'm glad you know what your own plant is. So thank you. Um, but guys, I love it. I'm going to try and do some other things like that. I'll put up some pictures and have you guess what it could be and give you some shout outs. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. I'm not going to do a good vibe shout out. Just a good vibe shout out to everybody, all of you guys who support us. We reached a huge milestone and then we surpassed that milestone. We got to 3,500 at like a day or two after we said 3,000 subs. So I'm so excited, guys. It means the world to us. Our kids love it. Tay loves it. Our animals love it. Any support you give us is always welcome. So hope you guys had fun. I'm excited about the new koi. I'm super excited about our, our rescue here. I'll definitely film these guys more because that's really cool. But as always, guys, peace. Subscribe below. Look at this guy. He wants to get they always come over to us. We are walking to PetSmart. Very, very small fish. Excellent, guys. Fred is in great shape. Clovis, say hi. Is doing so much better underneath.